What do you look for at the combine? Are you a, a measurables kind of guy, or do you want to see him running around on the field, or do you just prefer the tape? Well, I prefer the tape, and <laughs> most of my scouts, all of my scouts do too, as a scouting department. That's the most important part, what you see on tape, what we evaluated throughout the fall. But you like to see it um, a match up how they work out here, how they run, with what you felt about their play speed. I like to see their play speed match up to their 40 speed. I know it's a, a difficult situation with the cap. I know you want to keep your own guys. Where is the challenge for you once this uh, free agency begins? It's doing just that. It's, um, it's keeping the, the guys we think that drafting and developing is the best recipe for success and to continued success here. Uh, I think we're going to be a much fo better football team next year already, but um, keeping those guys in-house is the, the priority and what you'd ideally like to do. Uh, you have to figure out what sacrifices you're willing to do to make sure that we can do, do all that with the cap. Bruce Arians comes in here. This is a clean slate for him. Uh, how can he talk to Deshaun, and, and, or maybe they have spoken so far? Uh, how is that relationship, or how would you categorize that? And, and are you having ongoing discussions with Deshaun to kind of see what, what's coming in his future? Well, really, Deshaun's under contract, so um, we're, there's no negotiating uh, mm -hmm. contract for him uh, per se, but we've had a lot of conversations. Um, I know Bruce has talked to him several times, and all the conversations I've had with him and Bruce has had with him have been very positive. Him saying we've got a lot of good things going on here, and he's excited about the future. So 